What's up, machine freaks? Hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh on this fine day. It's pretty nice. It's coming fall. It's cooling down here in New York, but uh, we're surviving. I came up with a conclusion the last couple days, and I figured I wanted to get the chainsaw out, go up to my property, get crush out, have a good old time, and maybe make some trails. On my property, is I've only made a few videos, like actually uh, talking about my property. But we've actually rode on that a few times. A few of the rides are at the property. So we have opened up some trails. However, I feel like there's not enough trails. And I feel like this guy could definitely help with that. We're just going to make sure it runs though before we go. This thing has definitely disappointed me in the past. The one time I went up there. And actually that might have been the video with you guys. Um, it just wouldn't even, it wouldn't even start. So we're going to make sure it starts and runs now. I think I did do something a lot differently the last time. Throw some old fuel in it. See if she treats us. I like to like waste a little bit of gas to clean the tip. Kind of like if you were to put a like when you're welding, when you put your gauge on your tank. Kind of let some air out of the tank before you put your gauge in. Gets the dust and crap off. I do the same thing with the gas, especially with two strokes. Two strokes are a lot more sensitive. It's the power stroke, and it is going to go on the Durham map, so it might be slightly shy here. Blades loose. So you got to dial it in. Life's about maintenance, and you got to maintain stuff before you can expect anything out of it. So we got to tighten this chain. And no, I still don't have a chainsaw tool. I'm not, I'm not a timber guy, I guess. You're not official, and you're not legit, unless you have that tool. selected but I don't want to say who it is just yet because there are a few orders that are kind of something went wrong with them so check your email maybe you got an email from me Burned out impacted out Let's see how she's gonna treat us oh, yeah power stroking it up that's weird this thing's never one to idle I'm gonna bring a screwdriver just in case. Oh yeah, there you go. Also, don't forget, uh, we are giving away a GoPro too. That giveaway should be wrapped up a lot quicker because we we found out a few things that we screwed up on. So that giveaway, the announcer will be announced sooner. And also, you guys, if you could. Please tell me what you would like to see on my website. I'd like to expand my website a lot more than just merchandise. I'd like to maybe offer like a service or some knowledge or some information, some education. Well, let me know in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. Chainsaw, ready. Big money waster. How you doing, honey? Let's see if you want to start. <laughs> I got the door panel here. Hey, at least the airbag's still there. Let's see if she wants to go. It's the black key. I remember saying that. Got two keys. Hopefully the black key's faster if it's something silly like that. There you go. Burp it up, honey. That's crazy. Good enough. 
stuff. <laughs> Baby, you're a good girl. Uh, so Crush, as you can see, is missing a tire, and the BMW spare is being used as the jack. So at least things are still getting used, I guess. See, these are the only things like merchandise, products, uh, air caps, t-shirts, stuff like that. That's the only stuff I have on my website right now, and I want to expand upon that. Like I said, if you guys have any ideas, leave them in the comment section below. He's ready to rock and roll. After a tank nuts, the little nuts. Always tank the nuts. Nuts are tracked. Now when you're torquing your nuts and you go over the grunt and a half torque, you're just playing with your nuts. Keep that in mind, you've been warned, gentlemen. Alright you guys, we made it to the woods. And here's a big update on the property. If you guys you guys have probably been waiting for this for a long time and the reason why I haven't made this video is because I don't come out here too often but when I do I try to add a little bit more to the property so right now when I originally came up here there was none of these trails made there were some logging trails and yes this is a logging trail but the grass was overgrown they weren't very wide so I actually rented an excavator, a mini excavator, and made trails like this, and uh, trails that like cross small creeks like this. And I would say we have somewhere around, uh, let's say um, maybe 10 miles or so. And most of them are, well, allow Crush to go on them, which is awesome. A lot of trails at uh, like Jake's, they're specifically made for dirt bikes. He's into dirt bikes, so Crush can't really go on a lot of his trails. Got my chainsaw, got my uh, earplugs, got my camera. This, he, the trails that we're on right now, were old logging trails, but the grass was so tall, you couldn't see what was going on. Trees were falling down, and like, you just couldn't get around other than by foot. And as you can see here, this is incredibly steep, incredibly steep. You can't see the bottom right here. You can't see the bottom right here. But you can see that it is probably, I would say somewhere around 80 feet, 100 feet out, and about two, 200 foot down maybe. You don't wanna fall off this, how's that? This is where the deer usually like to bed down. Right in this area here, we've spooked probably about 10 or 12 of them last time we came up here. I don't know if it was in this specific spot, but in this general area, how's that? They like this tall grass. Hunting season's coming up, so all you hunters can probably, you know, you're probably sitting in your chair, ass in your pants right now, looking at this, probably getting excited. I'm not much of a hunter, so I don't really care. The cool thing is now I have property, so I can ride whenever I want. Before I had to stop um, when my, you know, with my grandmother's property because my uncles and cousins would, um, you know, be hunting, and I would scare the deer away. So now this allows me to ride whenever I want. survived the first little bit doesn't have a flat tire so we're good I don't know if I mentioned this on the last time I brought you guys up here but I have these blue markers that go around my property right and right now um, so we're on my property over beyond those blue dots there's one there and there's one down over there so anything past that point is somebody else's right so I don't have anything that connects to this part of the property to that part of the property I have two dead ends dead ends are well, they can be nice they can be a nice little cul-de-sac however we don't want a cul-de-sac at least not anymore I kind of want something that leads to another thing crush I do appreciate you in the background thank you very much right now I'm trying to oh yeah so the next blue dot is right here so from there 
to here we can't cross there and that would be really easy because I see potential there here looks like we're gonna have to either take out some saplings or go this way this is one of those situations where you just kind of weigh your options it takes longer to, to weigh those options uh, so we'll, we'll cut it here but gotta weigh the options find a way to make it efficient and so we're not you know going through uh, trees because trees are money can you spot crush in the distance he's right there I'm gonna make a trail cut that little guy down right there come over here up through here cut this guy out cut that small guy out they're just taking nutrition from these nice big trees here let's see if she starts up like she did in the garage You know how I said I was going to bring a screwdriver? I didn't bring a screwdriver. So we're going to have to be on the throttle the whole time. This should be wide enough for crush. I think I found a logging trail. Thank goodness. And this is the time to make trails, folks. Spring and fall, during summer, you know, everything's green, everything's big, everything's all green and it's harder. This is like, you can see clearly now that the rain is gone. This guy's dead. I had to come back to the camp site because uh, our chainsaw, well, let's just say I got my lumberjack on a little too hard. Chainsaw's fixed. My chainsaw is currently over there on the ground. It's done its job. Luckily, I managed to get to another logging trail. Uh, so I, I kind of made a trail relatively quick. However, I got out here late and the sun's going down, but I wanted to get out here and make a video. And I, I knew it wasn't going to be a very long video, but I wanted to update you guys on the property let you know that uh, there has been progress being made off of YouTube. And if you guys like this, then we'll do it again. But this trail is complete. We have hooked up the two dead ends. So if you guys want to check it out, we'll take Crush. We'll give her a little rip.
it backwards. Something exciting. Crash is loaded.